is atmospheric pressure attached to the motor before we start it up and I'll fire it up. This is with stock filters. The big, um, the big thing is going to be uh, pulling from first to, uh, to second, through to third. Second gear is where we're going to get our data. Because by the time we get done with second, we're going about 85 miles an hour. Yeah, it goes to almost zero as soon as you touch the throttle at all. It does. I've noticed that. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, punch. Just for a second. Yeah, it came up to like one inch of mercury. So I'm gonna call it the RPM this time. Oh, I'm gonna go from first through second. All right. Oh, fuck. First, 65. Okay, so go ahead. Um, okay, this is me. This is me benchmarking where. See, it's not oh, yeah. quite in exactly the same place, is it? Uh, I would say. It's, you know what I mean? It's not it's, at the bottom part of the black thing. This is atmospheric pressure with the K and N filter on the motor. Okay, so we're gonna start the engine. Yep. Everything's all warmed up and everything. We're gonna get ready to go do a drive here. Here we go. Whoa. largely the same. Right. Starts at zero, goes up to one uh, inch of mercury. So that's the thing that I was kind of afraid of. <laughs> now do you see why I'm concerned about making sure that the zero was in exactly the same place? I, I think you're high as far as that goes. But the engine off, everything is at atmospheric I know, both ways. I know, but I'm talking about the gauge. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about the motor doing anything funny. I'm talking about the gauge. No, the gauge should be the same place. It isn't in the same place, though. I thought it was closer to the bottom of the black part. Uh, I... I don't know for sure. Right. There's, there's some bottom of the back part. Okay, so start. <laughs> now we're going to do another one here. Because it's, you know, it's just a mechanical gauge. If you saw the way that thing was built inside, it's, you'd just be laughing. I mean, it's kind of a piece of crap. So, But I trust for it to show relative difference. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. 65. a hair better. From second to third, here we go. One, two, three. Sixty-five. 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 Okay, I'm going to take off these stock filters and put on the cane ends out here in the uh, in the jungle. Not a fun job to do out here. Welcome to the jungle. Here we go. I'm gonna just loosen this a little bit. It makes it more friendly. It's pretty new. It's got a little bit of dirt right there, but it's pretty new otherwise. And then here's the the difference in media. There are two K&Ns equals oh, one a paper funny filter. Kind of, um, this stuff is interesting. I never seen that before. Yeah. BMW. I don't know if that's an actual BMW part. It might be an aftermarket filter. Well, when I look at the tree limbs and stuff that's actually in the lower part of the box, yeah. I'm glad there's a filter at all. It'll also make the engine louder, of course, even with just these filters, just because there's less acoustical properties to the filter now it's and there's a funny little valve right down there which you're not gonna be able to see it's like a little trumpet I'm touching it it's about that big and it opens up and lets you hear the engine and wide up the throttle but it also opens up and sucks hot air and wide up the throttle oh it's like a hot air intake it's at the, the uh, auxiliary air valve because yeah. the actual snorkel that goes out to the front is not as big as the throttle body right so it uh, helps it, it wind up a throttle and gives you the aids in your pleasure, your listening pleasure. You get to hear the, the 
buzzy V12 growl. I like the sound of clattering intake valves. Yeah, I don't really like the sound of clattering intake valves, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Especially on a V12. Not a very pretty sound. That's the trumpet. There's, that goes there's, this is the trumpet that goes forward. It's not the same size oh, as the throttle the body. The Here is the uh, angster clapping vangst or whatever the hell it's called. This is the auxiliary air valve, which points at you and gives you sound. It's got a little uh, vacuum actuated valve on it that's controlled by a solenoid. I've looked into it. 